Welcome back. It's a brisk morning in uh, March here in Phoenix. It's uh, 55 degrees this morning, so I've made myself a cup of coffee to come out and get some work done as I hear this plane flying over. Good timing. So um, a couple things. I have a hibiscus I am going to go um, trim up, get some dead um, material off of it from a heavy frost that we had back in February. So I want to get that cleaned up for this spring as well as there is um, a lantana bush that um, suffered some severe frost damage also. So I was just going to replace it, but I may just cut it back um, and add some more mulch to it because it's um, definitely thinning out. And then there's another lantana, a trailing lantana next to it that needs a serious trimming. And then over the weekend, we uh, added gravel to our driveway so I have some more gravel to spread around the flower area that I have just to make it all complete. So I have all that to work on this morning and then I also I bought a new pack of um, garden shears so I, this is my old set and it's old old I don't know 20 plus years old and we lost the spring to it I don't know how long ago and it's just dull and doesn't work very well. So. I just ordered a set off Amazon and I'm just gonna try these out. I figured why not, they were three for $10. Um, I mean, you get what you pay for, I know. So like a pair at Home Depot was about $15 that were similar to this. And you can see that they're close in size, not quite as heavy, but um, they, they seem well, I mean, well made. There's a lock on it so to keep it shut, as well as the spring. The same with the other two. They're a little bit smaller and they kind of do different things. Um, this pair is a lot uh, smaller and pointier, I guess, to get in and get more precise cuts. And then this one's about the same thing, just a little bit heavier. And they all have locks on them, so I'm gonna give them a try, $10. I'll let you know. So here's my hibiscus I wanna work on. There's a bunch of dead uh, material from the frost that we had. I'm just gonna trim it all back and get it ready for this summer and then move over here to this project with the lantana. As I'm using these shears, I found they were very easy to use. Lightweight enough that they were easy to handle and sharp enough that they cut through all the dead material that I had available that I was working on. I would say that the maximum amount of material to cut through would be about a half inch diameter. Anything more than that would be a little too much for these particular shears. So one thing I'll point out and I'll just mention too that I'm not an expert gardener. This is how I garden. This is how I, what I know to do. Um, just kind of makes sense to cut back all the dead material off it to get back to the new growth. But just to be on the safe side, I did look up another YouTube video. And I can even put a link to his channel in the description. But um, basically he said the same thing that I already what I've done is that you cut back all the old stuff, the dead stuff, so that you can produce new growth. And how he mentioned it was to follow a piece back till you get to a node. Let's say that's a Y versus a node. And then give it like a quarter inch above it and cut it off at a 45 degree angle. So maybe like this one here would be a good example. So I went back, here's the node, this little bump. This is a little more than a quarter inch, but, and then I cut it off at a 45, just so that you get some new growth coming in. I 
there's some fur right here, I'm guessing. Rabbits. Um, in which case they probably just burrow in when it's hot since there's a drip line on this. Um, I'm just gonna leave it for now as long as I don't eat my hibiscus, I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna clean up this mess and I'm gonna go back into the wash in the back of our property and see if I can find some rocks to outline this with and pull back the wood chips. one rock extra that I just stuck in another border we have. So I'll just leave that there for the little critter. And keep an eye out for what's in there. Make sure he's not chewing on my hibiscus. So that looks so much better. Okay, on to my next project. So this is my next project. I need to cut back all this lantana. And in the pot on the right is another lantana. It's not trailing, it's just the bush type. And I really thought it was dead, but it looks like it's, it's coming back. So I'm gonna see how it turns out after I cut it back and see whether or not I should just keep it, move it, because I did get another plant to put in there. Um, and then I have more rock spread around it to kind of clean up the area. So that's what I'm going to do next.
but as I was working, my camera ran out of storage. So here is the finished product. I ended up pulling out all the dead material and cutting back my lantana quite a bit, but left enough just to trail over the edge and then there's plenty of room for it to grow. And then I ended up keeping this lantana and I added a bunch of mulch to it and a new water line and she's already coming back really nice. She's already got some flowers on her. So very happy how that turned out. Everything was cleaned up. I added my rock and now it's all done. I hope you've enjoyed following along as I've got my projects cleaned up for this spring. And if you like this content, make sure to give it a subscribe and a thumbs up, that would help. So until next time, thanks for watching.